everybody, welcome back to my Eurovision React review channel. So this week's pretty Eurovision crazy, right? So you've got Benidorm Fest semi-final number one tonight, and then tomorrow semi-final two, and then we've got the final on Saturday. But we are also continuing with MGP. So this Saturday we have a semi-final three. Um, I'm actually quite enjoying re reacting to these songs prior to the semis. It's been actually quite a good experience. I've actually quite liked the the general quality of the songs so far. So I haven't seen semi-final three or semi-final four. I thought I kind of would um, engage with those prior to their semis. So it is now Wednesday morning and I need to get on <laughs> with doing this one, the semi-final three, uh, because it's this Saturday and I'm gonna run out of time. So um, let's check these songs out. Okay, so song one, first one, we have Mari, Marie, uh, Bula, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, <laughs> your loss, youngest Norwegian idol winner in history, 15, and so she's 17, okay, pop punk power, pop punk power, three Ps, alliteration, beautiful, that's exactly what I need, six o'clock in the morning in Milan. Very Jesse J. Well, when I say Jesse J, I mean that bang bang into the room. So we're going into the uh, hot punk power vibes, the Avril Lavigne style sound. Glad they've given her a song that kind of fits her age. It sounds kind of... <laughs> it sounds... It's got a youthful vibe, right? Fun, flirty. Good voice, I can see why she's won the idol. Your loss, honey, is your exit. Absolutely your loss. Oh, I like this bridge. It's not me. It's not me. Yeah, okay, so um, evidently she's got a voice on her. Um, the song sounds kind of, yeah, current, well produced, radio friendly. I have never been a complete fan, even the days of Avril Lavigne, um, I've never been a complete fan. If I use the, the alliteration that Marie does, pop punk power, I've never been a massive fan of pop punk power. Um, even I remember um, years ago at Eurovision when Ireland sent that song, etc, etc. That was pop punk power. And I know people really liked that and were shocked that that did qualify. And I was like, no, it's not really a sound that I've ever kind of really gelled with. Um, but yeah, it's a cheeky number. It's quite nice. Um, it's a pleasant listen for three minutes. It's not normally my sort of sound. I kind of thought that in the first 20 seconds. Um, but that's just a personal preference. But it's a well-produced, slick song, sung very, very well. Be interesting to see how that's performed live on stage. There is a market for this sound, um, and I can't for the life of me remember uh, one of the seven for Czech Republic had a pop punk power vibe and didn't obviously get the ticket. So there is kind of a seat in Turin for this sort of sound because there will be people that pick up the phone for it um, but it's not my personal taste and I already think I've heard songs in semi-final one and semi-final two that are better so that moves on to Oda Godrison Hammer of Thor how dramatic um, she finished second alternate on the idol so we've got our second idol alumni 
um, behind eventual winner Marie Bula. Bula. I wonder if uh, MGP have done that deliberately to create a bit of drama. But I'm hoping to hear a kind of Nordic vibe to the production of this song. Will she still thunder in semi-final three? Well, let's see. I thought I was gonna kind of really get on board with the song with this kind of chanting to traditional vibe. But I've seen things come in between, like rolling stones coming down the hill. I think my expectations of this song were a lot higher. I wanted more the drama. Drill. And not just this kind of like thunder and this say yelling, but I don't mean that in a negative way. It's not really doing anything with it, the song. Where's it going? That's really regrettable. Just in the lyrics, I was like, oh, here we go. We're going to have this like Nordic sound that's going to be like very um, Denmark. Um, I thought it was going to be very much that, but it wasn't. <laughs> I loved that song. Shoot the arrow in the air. I want to listen to that one now. Um, okay, Oda. Mmm, interesting. I don't know what I thought that was going to be, but I'm a little bit underwhelmed. That's a shame. Um, okay, so now we have Stula with Skuri Hitta. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing this right. Um, South Pend, you've always got to respect that. Now he's bidding for the big leagues. Indeed. Will Sterler get your vote? Well, let's see, because so far out of this semi, I'm not completely won over. They might be bidding for the big leagues in Eurovision, but I'm not sure it does get my vote. Is that it? Oh my good. Oh my goodness. It's two minutes and 34. Boy, it does run out of steam quite fast. You wouldn't want to necessarily keep pursuing that for three minutes. Um, uh, I don't know whether I, I'm doing this reaction video in the morning that's making me not necessarily attach myself to these songs. I don't know, is, is this the general feeling with everyone else? Is this a, a, a not a very strong semi-final? Or am, am I just not in the right place or the right mind frame? Mind frame? Mindset. Um, that one was my least favourite. Even with Oda 
hammer of Thor. At least you're intrigued. Why she got that hammer? <laughs> Why she stolen that thunder? <laughs> Um, right, um, come on, Vilda. Um, we're going with a the mythological theme, evidently, in 73, because now we've got the Titans, or Titans. Looking over my shoulder, out into the darkness. Am I too paranoid? I guess it's irrational. This is my favourite intro so far. Always ready to run if I'm walking alone. Am I the only one facing the... This is quite a nice little song, isn't it? Collecting medallions. I am not gonna hide now. I'm picking a side, ready to fight for life. Doing it my way. I'm taking the highway. Heartbeat raising, though I hate it. I can take it. I really like this song, actually. Um, I'm enjoying this. I like this bit. I want to live like the Titans, like a giant. Oh, I like this bit. Yeah, I like this kind of anthemic chanting. Oh, this is hands down the best song in the Which is interesting because I seem to pick up the first two based on the bio that I was reading. Um, okay, hands down on a Wednesday morning in a dark, cold Milan. <laughs> um, I can safely say Vilda Titans is easily my favourite. And if this does not qualify, then... Evidently, I listen to these songs far too early in the morning and I've got something wrong. <laughs> or the performance is not good. But we will see that on Saturday. Um, really underwhelmed with Oda, unfortunately. I can't even remember Stuller's song. So I guess it goes without saying that Bilda. And I guess I go back to Mali. Mali. Bula. Your loss. Sounded contemporary, sounded fresh, little cheeky. Pop punk power number. <laughs> um, so yeah, I am rooting for Builder. That was good, actually. I'm going to put that on my playlist now as I head to work. So let me know what you think. Who is your favourite of semi-final three? Do you think that this semi uh, is lacking the punch that semi-final one and semi two were? Um, because yeah, for me, I think there is a bit of a, there's a lack of punch. Um, and so, yeah, please let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Please do click the notification button so you're informed when I post videos. And do obviously like and share this video. Um, but yeah, I'm probably going to post this today on a Wednesday and the semi is on Saturday. So not much time for this video to be in circulation, but nonetheless. Um, okay, so uh, over and out. And I will check you next time.